The drive reduction theory is a psychological concept that helps explain why people do things. It suggests that our behavior is motivated by the need to reduce physiological needs and achieve a state of balance or homeostasis. In simple terms, it's like saying we act to satisfy our basic desires to feel comfortable. The basics of drive. Imagine you're hungry. That feeling in your stomach is a physiological need. According to drive reduction theory, this creates a drive, like a push, that makes you want to do something to reduce the hunger, that something might be eating. Once you eat and your hunger is satisfied, the drive decreases and you feel better. This cycle of feeling a need, acting to reduce it, and feeling better is at the heart of drive reduction theory. Types of drives. There are different kinds of drives. Some are based on biological needs like hunger, thirst, or the need for sleep. Others are psychological, like the need for love, belonging, or achievement. Whether it's a physical need or an emotional one, drive reduction theory suggests that we're motivated to reduce these drives to feel better. The role of homeostasis. Homeostasis is like the body's way of keeping things stable. It's the balance we try to maintain to keep ourselves healthy and functioning well. Drive reduction theory says that when we feel a need, it disrupts this balance. So we're driven to do something to restore that balance and feel better. Once the need is met, we return to a state of homeostasis. Examples in everyday life. Think about how drive reduction theory applies to your daily life. When you're thirsty, you drink water to satisfy that need. When you're tired, you sleep to feel rested. Even emotions like loneliness can create a drive to seek companionship. Each time you satisfy one of these needs, you're reducing a drive and returning to a state of balance. Critiques and challenges. While drive reduction helps explain a lot about human behavior, it's not without its criticisms. Some psychologists argue that not all behavior can be explained by basic physiological needs. For example, why do people take risks or pursue hobbies that don't fulfill any immediate needs? Critics suggest that there might be other factors at play like social influences or personal goals.